Tonight, a sharp curve on Jacksonville's north side is getting attention after an 18 year old was killed in a crash last night. And we know that a truck went into the guardrail and hit a tree on Dunn Creek Road in the Ocean Way community. Zach Wilcox is live along that road now. And Zach, you can see where the car uh, went off the road right where you are. Yeah, Heather, it's kind of a haunting image. You can see the guardrail completely dented in. Several of the signs that indicate to drivers to turn those reflective signs have been just knocked over completely flattened to the ground and we talk with a handful of neighbors around here probably about a dozen people or so who mentioned that they've had this curve has a bit of a history in fact it's known as dead man's curve around this area it was definitely a new challenge once we moved over here brian bass has to take the 90 degree curve on dun creek road nearly every day as part of his commute he once, says uh, it can be nerve-wracking, especially when he thinks about the number of wrecks he's seen at what neighbors call dead man's curve. You can never judge who's coming around the corner, how fast they're coming around that corner. Like I said, it's more of a blind spot from you looking from the left side. Bass isn't alone in feeling the curve is dangerous. First Coast News received several comments about the curve's history on a post about an 18-year-old who was most recently killed in a crash on Dun Creek Road. It's truly devastating. Um, my heart goes out to the families, the friends that you know may have lost somebody or even even heard anything like that, but that's just sad. Jacksonville City Councilman Reggie Gaffney Jr., who represents the area, said he's already reached out to the traffic engineering team and they are continuously working to implement proactive measures to enhance safety and improve the well being of all. After taking the curve nearly every day, Bass feels it needs to be a complete stop. I feel like if you can address it, anything works. You know, if, if, it, if it is broke, so let's fix it. Just about 20 minutes ago, we heard back from the city of Jacksonville where they mentioned that in February of 2023, they actually improved this curve, added some signage here as well. And they've had four cars run off the road in the past five years at this curve, but the city stance is that the signage appears to be adequate. On the north side, Zach Wilcox, First Coast News, on your side.